I have a rather small site here as you see, only four plugins installed. But since during the developing this site I tested this and that plugin, the end result is that if I take a look at my database table, I'll see that it contains 179 tables and the table size is 15.7 megabytes. It contains all the rubbish from the deleted plugins and therefore I need to clean it. In this video I'm going to show you how to do it within a couple of minutes. And that means I'm gonna go to the plugins, add new, and I'm gonna search for WP Optimize. Now I'm gonna install it and activate it. Word of caution so before you move on you should take a complete backup of your site and therefore I'm gonna use a WP Vivid backup plugin for it. I'm gonna open it up, backup and restore. I'm gonna choose database and files. I'm gonna press on backup and depending on your site it may take time. But since my site is a small one it's gonna take 20 seconds. Now why would I need a backup? Well if something goes wrong I'm just gonna press this restore button here and I can fix it. Now I'm gonna go to the WP Optimize and there is a database menu here. So I'm gonna open up a tables menu here and as you see all those that contains this remove button those are the database tables that belong to abandoned or deleted plugins. You'll see the plugin name here WP Marketing Automations, Fluent CRM, Fluent Support, Paid Memberships Pro and so on. Also you'll see there is a not installed label here which means I can delete all these tables and clean my database. Just press on remove. I confirm that I have understood the risks and do not show this warning again. Remove the table. And this way I can go and delete all the database tables here. I'm gonna pause for a second and come back when it's done. Now it's done and you'll see that I have only 63 tables here. It was 179 and now it's 63 tables. One more thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to the optimations. I'm gonna select all, click on run selected optimizations. And once again, depending on the site size, it may take a bit time, but since I have a small site, it's not gonna take as much. Now when it's done, I'm gonna go to the settings and I can enable the schedule cleanup and the optimization, whether it's weekly, daily, fortnightly or monthly. You can set what is it you need to optimize or clean, just activate it. And also you can select whether to keep last data from two or three or four weeks or all, always. What I suggest you to do is always keep at least two or three post revisions. You can use it if something goes wrong and you can restore your post or page. And this way you can glean your WordPress database from garbage. Now before you go, wait, if you find this tutorial helpful then press thumbs up this one here and take a look at this side of the screen. It contains two good videos. I think you may find them useful. Meanwhile, take care. Bye.